Go plastic bag, fly, fly. We've all seen hot air balloons flying through the sky, but we really stop to think how they're actually doing it. But it's all down to the properties of air. When air is warmer, it's actually lighter than when it's colder. For this experiment, you're gonna need a toaster, a couple of plastic bags, scissors, duct tape, and a cardboard box. So what we're gonna try and do is fill a plastic bag with warm air. That'll actually make it lighter, so it should, in theory, fly. So we need to use something like this toaster. And what we'll need to go around the toaster is a box. Now you can think of this as a hot air balloon machine. It makes it so that you don't actually burn the plastic bag around it and you don't burn your fingers. Always a good thing. So we're gonna make this into a, into a box that fits around the toaster. And the easiest way of doing that is by opening up all the different parts of it and getting it to stand really high. So you can take the one end and score down that and along the sides, there and there. Obviously, if you're doing this at home, you might want to use something like safety scissors and have a cut towards yourself. But now that is the perfect launch pad for our homemade hot air balloon. I also want to make it a little bit sturdier. NASA wouldn't put up with this kind of thing. So I'm going to uh, tape these seams up so that it's the perfect shape and size to go over our, our toaster. So a little bit of tape around the outside should make it perfect. If you warm up air by about 30 degrees, then it actually weighs about 10% less. Oh, that's like magic. Perfect. So our launch pad, now that it's complete, is gonna funnel the hot air through the toaster and up around there. Underneath here, there is a toaster as if by magic, but it's not, it's science. So the hot air is gonna rise up through there and be caught by our hot air balloon, our homemade hot air balloon at the top. And it'll make it way less and hopefully it'll start to fly. Be careful when you're using toasters uh, at home for this kind of thing, it can melt the plastic quite quickly. So be careful at all times. But to make our hot air balloon, what we need is a, a plastic bag, a nice thin one from good supermarkets and bad supermarkets too, uh, you can get these plastic bags. And they're perfect because they're nice and thin, uh, but also nice and light as well. So inside here, there's a certain amount of air and the plastic bag weighs, well, it's nice and light as well. But to make it fly, we need to make the air inside it nice and warm. So it goes onto our launch pad. And this bag is perfect because it's nice and tight around the launch pad. So once it's on, all that's left to do is turn the toaster on and make our hot air balloon airborne. All right. The nice thing about this launch pad, this cardboard box, is that you can take it off and have access to the energy source that's underneath your toaster. So set it to around two or three minutes, whatever you'd have your, your toast as normally. And as you push the plunger down, you can feel the warm air start to rise out of the top. And that's the air that we want to get inside our balloon. So we put our cardboard box back on top and immediately you can start to feel the warm air fill up the inside of the bag. And as the warm air fills up the bag, it makes it lighter. And what we want is this whole thing, this whole system to be lighter than the air around it. And the longer you leave it on, the hotter it'll get and hopefully the better it will fly. So we'll leave it on for about 30 seconds or so, so it's nice and, and tight in there. And then we can launch our, uh, our plastic bag, our hot air balloon in five, four, three, two, one. Go plastic bag, fly, fly. Amazing, the perfect hot air balloon, the perfect plastic bag experiment that you can do in your house. A hot air balloon with a toaster. Oh, it does work, is it? I used it.
Oh, there we go. Does it not work for the Welsh? Is it a Welsh chicken toaster? <laughs> Why is it working for <laughs> <laughs> Try, Try putting some of the air. 